best beaches in Australia. More than 4 million people call this big small town home. Yes, Melbourne is a big small town, and no, it's not an oxymoron. See, it contains all the trappings of a major metropolis, vibrant neighborhoods, award-winning cuisine, notable things to do, but Melbournians manage to do their urban hustle at a leisurely pace. Borough in wine country beside Port Phillip Bay, Melbourne's natural landscape anchors its laid-back personality. When you're sampling wine in the nearby Yarra Valley or sipping a flat white at one of Melbourne's charming sidewalk cafes, there's no way you can't relax. How to save money in Melbourne hop on the City Circle Tram This free tram, which conveniently stops near attractions like the State Library Victoria and the Melbourne Museum, travels in a circular route and gives visitors a great overview of the city. Filled up at lunch most establishments raise their menu prices at night, so consider eating your largest meal of the day at lunch. Culture and customs Melbourne is much smaller than Sydney, but this southern Australia city exudes the same joie de vivre. The event's capital of town under attracts families and casual travelers with its laid-back vibe. The Americans find it easy to adapt to the Melbourne way of life for several reasons. Firstly, the official language here is English, meaning there's no language barrier to overcome. Secondly, the official currency, the Australian dollar, is worth a little less than the US dollar, so you'll be able to afford the city's food, accommodations and attractions. What to eat Melbourne is a city of cafes. You'll find them tucked within central Melbourne alleyways and clustered together throughout trendy neighborhoods like South Yarra Prolone, St Kilda and Fitzroy. Try a flat white, an Australian coffee specialty that's similar to a latte but with more espresso and less milk. Popular coffee shops include Brother Bible Boogie and Cafe Vendia Amo in the Central Business District and Birds One Stone Cafe in South Yarra Prolone. Though most of the city's residents were born in Australia, Melbourne's sizable British, Indian, Chinese, Italian and Greek communities have greatly influenced the area's culinary offerings. Getting around Melbourne The best way to get around Melbourne is by tram. Trams operate throughout the day and offer multiple routes that crisscross the city. There's even a free tram designed just for tourists. You can also board Melbourne's buses and trains with the same key ticket that you'll use for trams. While taxis and rental cars are available, they'll both cost more than public transportation. To avoid the hassle of adjusting to Melbourne's quirky road rules, it's best to avoid driving here.